What if Noel actually ends up attaining Majecula? Now you might be like, the one straw hat, what are you talking about? So we know Noel needs a power up, obviously to get on the level of Asta and Yuno. And I'm not talking about current Asta and Yuno, I'm talking about endgame Asta and Yuno. Obviously Asta is going to be Wizard King level, and if Yuno is going to be his rival, he's probably going to be around that level as well. So endgame Noel's got to compare to them, right? So she obviously needs a power up. Now if you're telling me she doesn't need a power up and her mana is enough, yeah, she has that crazy amount of mana, even crazier than some royals. I don't think it's enough to even compete with Yuno and Asta. So let's talk about this. First of all, I'm the one Straw Hat. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing behind the scenes, follow me on Twitter. The handle is the one Straw Hat. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. So I've always been on the side that Noel's gonna get the Water Spirit. Because we know about the four spirits, and we know Yuno currently has the wind spirit, Sylph. We know Fuegolion has the fire spirit, Salamander. We don't know where Gnome is, the earth spirit. So I was always thinking that Noelle's going to get the water spirit. Then come to find out that the water spirit is with the princess of the heart kingdom. And it looks like the water spirit is essential for the life of the heart kingdom. It looks like it's essential in protecting the heart kingdom. I still thought she might get it, or that she will get it sometime in the future. But what if that's not the case? What if the water spirit always stays in the heart kingdom? Because imagine if we do get all four of these spirits. Let's say we get the fire spirit, the wind spirit, and then Noel gets the water spirit. That means three of the four spirits are already in the clover kingdom. And who knows, maybe we might even get the gnome, the earth spirit. I personally think the clover kingdom would be two hacks at that point. And we already know that Asta is not the only devil in the clover kingdom anymore. That we actually have another devil user and that's knocked. So what if by the end of this arc, right, at the end, when they resolve everything, when they defeat the Dark Triad, when they take down the Devils, they defeat Lucifero, Noel actually ends up having to basically take in Majecula. I don't know what the reason would be. Maybe she befriends it, or maybe Majecula ends up being, I, I don't know, maybe they turn it, or maybe she just gets it and she has to try to learn how to keep it under control, sort of like the Night Till Fox in the beginning with Naruto. Not only would she have access to water magic, she would get access to blood magic because of Majecula. And then she would also get a devil form. And she would kind of parallel Asta, right? And we already know Noelle likes doing these like types of forms. She has her Valkyrie dress. So imagine her combining her Valkyrie dress with her devil form. And I feel like water magic and blood magic just go together very well. She's also a part of the Black Bulls, like a dark themed, you know, guild. My bad, I should say squad. And then at that point, she wouldn't really need the Water Spirit to be on the level of Asta and Yuno. Like heck, if we really want, we could give her the Water Spirit and we could give her Majecula. And then at that point, she would just become God. Now, this was more of a discussion than a theory. I don't have any evidence to support that she will get this. But I think it would be a cool thing if it happened. I, I actually wouldn't be mad at it. Like if she got Majecula instead of the Water Spirit, I wouldn't be that mad. It just has to be like the way... Yuki Tabata wants to handle, like, how does he convert Majecula, who seems to be very evil and maniacal, and turn her into being a good person, or not good, but maybe obedient to Noel. I wonder how Tabata would handle that. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's almost the month of October. October is my favorite month, by the way. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to have some, like, Halloween creepy videos coming along the line. Uh, I don't know how many I'm going to make, probably one or two, possibly in the month of October. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.